my name is Debbie Fierst, and I'll be your instructor for this course. I've been using Microsoft Word for many years, and I've taught hundreds of students how to use the application. I look forward to teaching you as well. In this lesson, Getting Started with Word, we'll identify the components of the Word interface. We'll create our first Word document, and we'll look at the help system. In this topic, we're going to identify the components of the Word interface. We'll look at the Word 2013 landing page. We'll start a Word document and look at the Word application window, including the ribbon, the backstage view, the clipboard task pane, the quick styles gallery. We'll also look at the print layout view, the last location bookmark, and the view tab. When you first launch Microsoft Word 2013, you're taken to what we call the landing page. In this perspective, you get the option to open recently used files or other documents. You also have the option to create a blank Microsoft Word document or go into some existing templates. You can also search online for templates if what you're looking for is not here in this window. Let's take a moment and define a Word document. Basically, a document is anything that you design inside of Microsoft Word. It could be a newsletter, a letter to a friend, a fax form. It could be some sort of documentation or report. And a Word document can contain all kinds of features, including text itself, graphics, tables, bulleted lists, charts, all kinds of objects can be embedded into a Word document. So it's a very powerful communication tool. Once you launch Microsoft Word and you're past the landing page, you're taken to the application window. The upper left-hand corner of the application window has a quick access toolbar with buttons that are frequently used, such as the Save button and you can customize this quick access toolbar. You also have the title bar that gives you the name or title of the current document that you're in. Notice this says I'm in document eight. In the upper right hand corner, we have some window components for minimizing, maximizing, and closing the application window. Then you have the ribbon, and the ribbon is where you make command choices by moving through tabbed pages. So what they've done is they've categorized all the most frequently used buttons and commands onto ribbons. Then you've got your document area, and this is where you do your work. This is where you type and insert your objects into your Microsoft Word document. As that document grows, you'll need to scroll. So you've got a, a bottom scroll bar and a side scroll bar. And then you've got your status bar. The status bar gives you some nice feedback, such as what page number you're on, how many words long your document is. You can zoom in and out of your document and switch views of your document. Let's focus on the ribbon for a moment. The ribbon is divided into tabs. The tabs are capitalized up here on the top. So for instance, there's a tab called Insert, and there's a tab called Page Layout. Now, each of the tabs from Home all the way over here to View switch you between different ribbons or command groups. They've grouped these. So, for instance, I'm on the Home tab right now, and notice I have a paragraph group of commands. I have a styles group and an editing group. Okay, so what they've done is they've basically categorized or grouped commands inside of each of these tabs. The only tab that functions a little differently is the File tab. That one will take you to an area we call the Backstage View, rather than switching you to a different ribbon. By clicking on the File tab on your Windows application screen, you're taken to something called the Backstage View. The Backstage is where you do some basic file management, things like create a new document, print a document, save, close, and you can also go into this backstage area to make some options modifications to how your Microsoft Word application works. Another component of Microsoft Word that you'll encounter is called the Task Pane. A Task Pane provides quick access 
to feature specific options and commands. It can be resized, moved, and kept open while working on a document. Now, task panes can be opened either by using commands on the ribbon, such as dialog box launchers, or from within other task panes. Here you're seeing an example of one task pane called the clipboard. Another component that you'll see inside of Microsoft Word is called a gallery. A gallery is a collection of elements that belong to the same category, such as styles or effects. Now, galleries display preset styles that you can select from, and they offer a quick way to change the appearance of your document. You access galleries by selecting the down arrow that appears to the right of the ribbon element associated with the gallery. Here you're seeing the gallery for styles. A document view refers to a particular layout in which you view your document. And this can be helpful when, for example, you'd like to see what your document would look like if it's printed, or as an outline, or as a web page. When you go into Word, the default document view is print layout, but you can choose different views by selecting the view tab on the ribbon. What you're looking at here is an example of the print layout view. And what this does is it shows me my entire piece of paper so that I know what this document would look like if I were to print it right now. I can see the margins of my documents. I can see the layout of the document. And again, if I want to switch to other views, I can drop down the View Layout tab and modify my views. I can also do a little bit of view switching in the lower right-hand corner of the document window. A nice little feature in Microsoft Word 2013 is called the Last Location Bookmark. Basically, if you've got a document that's rather lengthy, and when you left Word and that document last, you were maybe down on page two at a particular spot, what Word will do the next time you open that document is bring you right back to the same spot you were at before and welcome you back. This is called the last location bookmark. It just saves you from having to go find your spot again. We've already talked about the fact that on the View tab, you have the capacity to change to different perspectives of your Word document. For instance, web layout versus print layout. But there are some other nice features on the View tab. One of them is the capacity to arrange multiple windows if I have, for instance, two Microsoft Word documents up at the same time and I want to compare them side by side, Arrange All will arrange those so that I can see both documents at the same time. I can also choose to uh, scroll them synchronously or asynchronously. In other words, I can choose as I scroll one, the other will scroll at the same time, or I can take that off. If I want to, I can also split one window into two and scroll the sides individually. This is just one document, so I'm s essentially splitting the same document in two just so that I can scroll to different parts and compare parts of the document that normally wouldn't be side by side. So there's some really neat things under that window group. Another thing that you can do here in the View tab is zoom into your document. Okay, so by default, you're typically at 100%, but you might want to zoom in and focus on an area or zoom out so that you can see more of your document. If you do have more than one document going at a time in Word, the Switch Windows drop-down list is a quick way to switch between the documents.